Welcome to another Ask Arlington. I'm Jay Warren. Ask Arlington is a show that's dedicated to answering the questions that you have about what's happening right here in our city. And on this episode, we're going to be focusing on the city's neighborhood matching grant program. The program is available to fund improvement projects that will beautify and enhance public spaces and neighborhoods throughout the American Dream City. Project examples include public art, beautification, landscaping, sidewalks, and neighborhood entrance signs. Applications are due by February 15th. Joining me now to answer your questions on this topic is Sarah Stubblefield. She is the city's, with the city's Community Development and Planning Department. You're a manager there in that department, Sarah, and we appreciate you coming in to answer some of these resident questions that we have. Well, thanks. I'm happy to be here, Jay. Right. Thanks. Well, let's get to our first question. We thought this would be a good one to start out with because, frankly, it really is kind of an overview question. This one comes to us from Lindsay and asks, what types of neighborhood organizations are eligible to apply for the grant and what is the maximum project award? Kind of walk us through that process, if you would. Yeah, so the Neighborhood Matching Grant um, started in 2007 as you said, as a way for neighborhoods to beautify their own neighborhoods, sometimes with the bigger projects that individual neighbors can't do, but you know that aren't necessarily big city projects. Um, so we have tried to make it every year a little more accessible to the, all the neighborhoods. Um, we have um, any neighborhood group can apply as long as the neighbors are kind of all in for it. Um, and so you don't have to be an HOA or a nonprofit organization to be able to apply. Anyone in Arlington can apply um, if they get their neighbors together. Um, there's two tiers of funding though. Uh, $10,000 is available again to any neighborhood group that meets our basic criteria. Um, we have three main basic criteria. You have to get an EIN number from the IRS. Um, it's free and you can do it online. You have to have a bank account in the name of the neighborhood group and you have to be registered in our neighborhood network which is um, something that we keep as the city to kind of communicate with our neighborhoods and let them know what we're doing in the city. Mm -hmm. There's a second tier of funding that is up to $25,000, and that's for neighborhoods that are a nonprofit organization or an HOA organization. Um, so projects are great at both of those funding levels. We've seen a lot of great projects come through um, at all of the levels. So um, we're very excited to be able to kind of open this up to everyone. Yeah. One of the things I love about this program is it's really being driven by our residents. It's not the city saying, this is what we think you want. It's the residents saying, this is what we want. Mm -hmm. Help us do it. Exactly. And so the application process, um, it is a little involved. It is taking on a full project. So we want budgets and we need um, a lot of information so you, that we know that you'll be able to do it and that we can help you do that. Um, but it is, I think, all of the neighbors that have participated so far would find it very rewarding because yeah. um, they get to drive through their neighborhoods and say, look, I did that. Yeah, that's really awesome. Well, our next question comes to us from Tariq, uh, he asks uh, and wants to know where he can find out more information about this program. Is there a website? I have no doubt there is, <laughs> but kind of tell us where he can find out that information. There's definitely a website. It's um, <laughs> on the Arlington, Texas Community Development and Planning website. We have a big picture right at the top that says Neighborhood Matching Grants, the easiest way to find it. Um, and it has all the information you need. We have a guidebook on there that kind of walks you through all of the components, who's eligible, what types of projects are eligible, um, and how to kind of fill out the application. Um, the application is on there and some other information. We do have information sessions that are required um, for our neighborhoods to attend in order to be eligible to apply. We had two before the holidays and we've got two left. One is on January 19th. Um, at the West Police Service Station and then in the evening it's at 6 p.m. and the last one will be at the Southeast Branch Library um, in the morning. So we have a Saturday and an evening session available for neighbors to attend and get all the information. I'll be there with some other staff to answer any question you can think of. Sounds good. And We've also posted an article on our news site on the city's website. You can go to myarlingtontx.com for that. There you'll find a link to all the things that Sarah was talking exactly. about as well. So good stuff there. Well, our final question comes to us from Patrick. Uh, he thinks that Highland Baptist Church would be a good candidate for one of these awards. I'm sure there are a lot of good candidates out there and good projects out mm -hmm. there. Uh, so walk us through again the steps for people to apply. Um, we do kind of limit the program specifically to neighborhood groups. Mm -hmm. um, you can partner with other organizations or churches or nonprofits or anything like that, but the main driver needs to be the neighborhood. And, and the projects do need to be a public benefit. Mm -hmm. So um, most of them are physical projects, like you said, signs, street toppers, things like that. So things that will enhance 
the community for anyone driving by. Like a neighborhood entrance sign. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, we do have a lot of great programs available for all of the organizations, but this program is very special for our neighborhoods, and so we want to keep it limited to them. And one of the great things about it, too, is not only are the residents the ones kind of driving this process, but it also, I think, creates pride in our neighborhoods, which makes Arlington an even better place to live, exactly. learn, work, and play, which is great. Mm -hmm. Well, Sarah, thanks so much for coming and answering these questions and for managing this program for the city. I'm Appreciate happy to that. do it. Thank you. And thank you at home for asking again another round of great questions. We really do appreciate it. That will do it for this week's Ask Arlington. Tune in next time when we'll answer more of your questions.